Hello YouTube. Uh, the last video I made for Humberto was replacing the fuse for the fan, the heating cooling system. Uh, now Humberto has been stored for 18 months while we moved to our place in France. And so I uh, just got it registered in France, uh, MOT'd, control technique as it's called over here. But it's insured so I collected it from the MOT so to speak and gave it a once over. I filled it with gas at a uh, local petrol station and the heating works. I filled it with water, the hot water works. Uh, what else? Yeah, pretty much everything seemed to work um, apart from the fridge. Um, so we had a problem with the fridge on gas. I've not tried it on 240 volts yet but I'm sure it'll work. So what I thought I'd do is show you the problem which is now fixed. So let's take a look at the fridge. It's a Dometic or Dometic however you want to say. So it's a double height um, freezer at the top, fridge down below but if you look at the controls like here I think they're pretty much the same on smaller models. So although this looks like a fancy double height unit, I think that the internals are the same. So the problem is, and I've fixed it now, so to recreate it I've turned the gas off. But the problem is, when you turn it to gas, let me just focus in on this. When you turn it to gas, you can hear it clicking. Maybe you can't, but it's going click, 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 as the pilot ignition light is clicking away the, the sort of piezo quartz ignition and that will keep clicking away for well probably 20-30 seconds and eventually this light which you may or may not be able to see is orange can you see that yeah there we go so it's failed and it's flashing in a warning basically it's a failed state so the clicking stopped and it's basically saying no fail to light. So what I did, the first checks you should do is to I'm covered in <laughs> covered in junk here, not, not prepared, is make sure that you're getting gas to the burners, the gas hobs, which I did. Now it took a while because it's not been full of gas filled with gas for a while. I won't do it now, but all the hobs eventually came on. I let them burn for a few minutes just to make sure there's gas coming through. So we know there's gas in the tanks. I then checked the gas taps. Now you can see here, hopefully, that I've actually turned off the fridge to simulate the problem. But make sure the gas taps are on. Um, in our case, when they're vertical, that means they're on. But, you know, it's, if the hob's working, make sure that the fridge tap is turned the same orientation as the hob. The next thing I did, because it's over at the top of the fridge, is our grill and oven. So I made sure that came on, which it did. So I let that burn for two minutes to make sure gas came through to this side of the motorhome in this what's called a, a tech tower, a Dometic tech tower. So I know that I've got gas. So the next thing I did was to go outside and take a look at the back of the fridge. So bear with me, I'll see you out there. Okay, so now we're outside and you can see the vents, one for the oven and the bottom one for the fridge. So let's uh, Tripod and take a look at the behind the vent for the fridge. So what I've got is a punch, a very wide punch, just to open up the two clips that hold this vent on. And it's very brittle feeling plastic, so gently does it. Just tap these very gently out of the way. If you 
feel any resistance then stop because it's plastic on plastic then this should just pull out he says I want to be as careful as possible there we go Side here. Right, so the ignition and the burner is behind this plate. And there's just one screw behind here. This isn't where the fix is, by the way, this is just to show you where the ignition flies. And there you have it. So hopefully you can see that the ignition the pizza ignition is here, these white insulated kind of ceramic ignition, uh, what do you call them, <laughs> cylinders. And then underneath is where the gas flows. So this is actually the gas jet here in this sort of stainless steel kind of ducting. And then the gas pipe there's a thin gas pipe, it runs all the way to the back and then up into here, which is the gas valve and it's that that causes the problem so let me zoom in okay. so here's the gas valve so what I did to fix this was to get my drill, my DeWalt drill, and put it on hammer setting. There's no drill bit, so I put it on hammer, hammer setting. Let me just park that. I went inside, I switched on the fridge, put it to the gas setting, and I could hear it clicking away. And at that point, it should open the gas valve in here, let gas flow down this thin feeder pipe into the burner, pass the ignition, ignite and then light and then the uh, thermocouple will then switch off the ignition once it's lit. So what I did, I turned on the gas valve at the fridge, I could hear it clicking, I ran outside with my hammer drill, I put the hammer drill against the gas valve and as soon as I did that I could hear it light woof it lit and so what it was it was just a sticking valve and reading the forums on the internet it seems that a lot of the problems are with the valve in here sticking after a long winter layoff so it's a com very common problem and in this case you know touch wood a very easy fix that's probably saved you know, definitely it's saved a trip to the uh, repair shop, possibly the bill on repairing or replacing the gas valve. What I don't know is if it'll, you know, keep working now, but hopefully now it's free and if we keep using the van and the fridge, it should keep working. So that's the end of that fix. So what I need to do is just reassemble it. Basically, just goes underneath the gas valve, 
slips into this square bracket at the end. It sits there. It slides over a locking screw. Tighten up that locking screw. And that's done. Then we just need to refit the cover. Gently tap it into place. Then gently, very gently, tap down the locking clips. So, that's fixed. Hope that's been of some use. And have fun. And I hope your fridge doesn't stop working. But if it does, I hope that's been a help. Okay, bye YouTube.